Adding your reviews from Google, Facebook, or Airbnb to your Squarespace site is a great way to share positive feedback about your business and increase your sales, no matter what you're selling. Unfortunately, integrating customer reviews from a third-party site like Google or Facebook or Airbnb isn't something that Squarespace offers natively. You're going to have to use some sort of plugin from another provider, but that's fine because I've got one here for you that is great, and I'm going to show you how to integrate it into your Squarespace site. So let's jump right in. Okay, so head to elfsite.com slash all-in-one reviews widget slash Squarespace, and I'll definitely link this below the video so you can easily click on it. But this so far has been like the easiest, most seamless plugin we've used for Squarespace to sync all of your reviews from Google, Facebook, TripAdvisor, Amazon, Airbnb. There's so many different options here. I would also recommend Elfsite plugins for Squarespace for so many other things as well. Definitely check out all of their plugins because in my experience, using them is so easy and they're actually super cheap and so easy to customize. I just love Elfsite plugins. So if you wanna get started with this, scroll down and you can actually just choose which one you wanna start with from here at the bottom of the page. So you can use this carousel version. There's just a floating badge version here, which you can click into and it's gonna pop out on the side, which is super sleek. You can also see how they look in mobile too. There's a little mobile view button up here in the top right, and that's gonna show you between desktop and mobile what they look like. So let's go back and quickly look at that carousel on mobile. Super sleek. There's a grid version, which is just a grid, and then you can click load more. There's a regular badge in the middle of the page. There's this slider version. There's a dark carousel amazingry there is tons of options here to choose from so you should be able to find something to work on your site depending on where you want to put it so i'm going to go for the masonry for an example and i'm going to click continue with this template so once you click continue then you can actually hook up all of your different sources so depending on where you want to pull your reviews from click add source and you're gonna get the URL from the page that you wanna integrate. So I'm going to choose Facebook first for this example, and it will give you some information here about how to grab the link. So add the link of your Facebook page to display your reviews. So our Facebook page is facebook.com slash bigcatcreative. And if you just give it a minute, it will start collecting your reviews. Okay, you can see now it's pulling reviews from my Facebook page, which is super seamless. And then I'm just gonna click done and it will keep loading them and you can continue to add more sources. So I'm gonna go ahead and add Google too because we've got a few reviews on Google. Now following the instructions, it's given me to add in my business. It's now pulling my Google reviews. And you can even do this if you don't have a physical address business. So just make sure to follow whatever instructions it provides for you for wherever you're pulling your reviews from. For every different platform, it's gonna be slightly different to get the right URL or the right code. But for my experience, it's pretty quick and easy and the documentation is really easy to follow. Okay, I'm gonna click done and let's just say that's all the reviews I wanna add. I'm gonna go ahead and click add to website. So from here, it's gonna prompt you to either sign in or sign up. I already have an account so I can log in, but go ahead and sign up if you need to. So I'm all logged in now and this is what it's showing me. So I'm just gonna click save. And at some point it's gonna pop up with some information about paying for the plugin. So if you're planning to use more apps from Elfsite, which you might actually want to, go ahead and check those out first you can grab all of their apps for a massive discount. So definitely look into that if you're thinking about using more than a few of their apps. But if you're just using one, they've got some really good plans here, $0 for up to 200 views, $10 for 5,000 views, which would probably cover quite a lot of you, and then $20 a month for up to 50,000, which is pretty large. And you can use it as many times as you want to around your site. It works on desktop and mobile. I definitely think if you want to pull reviews, this is 100% worth it because the quality of this plugin is really good. I'm just gonna choose zero for now because this is just an example. And now I'm gonna show you how to implement it into your Squarespace site. It is so, so easy. All you need to do is copy and paste this code that they give you into the place that you want to add the reviews. So I'm gonna go ahead and click copy, go over to my test Squarespace site. And let's say I want to add some reviews right here. I'm gonna click edit on my page. And I'm currently using Squarespace 7.1 Fluid Engine, but whatever Squarespace version you're using, 
It won't be too much different. Hopefully you know how to use the version of Squarespace that you're using and we just need to add a code block. So add your code block to wherever you want to embed the script. Open up the code block and then just paste in the code that ElfSite has given you. So I'm just going to adjust the size of this. I'm going to make it span all the way across. Bring it up to the top of my section. And then you won't be able to actually see it while you're in the editor because it's a script. But once you click save, it should pull all of the data. So there it is. There's all my reviews on my Squarespace site. So easy. You can just click load more and it will automatically load more, which is so cool and simple. Obviously I'm using the free plan. So I've got this free reviews widget on here, but if you start paying, this link will be removed. And you can see that also the main fonts are being taken from our Squarespace site styles. So that's really cool. That can help make things look more customized on your site. So that body font is the same as the body font that's on my site, which is really cool. But you can also make more design customizations back in Elf site. And let me just show you how that works. So over in Elf site, I'm going to click into my all-in-one reviews widget and I click edit. So this is going to open up the same panel we were in before and you can go through and connect more sources. You can update the layout like we were looking at before with all these different layouts. And when you update it here, it's going to automatically update on your Squarespace site, which is really cool. You can play around with the content width, change the title. You can change your tabs and you can change the header. So this is what a title would look like if you wanted to add one. For the tabs, you can hide or show them. So that's gonna show the different reviews. You can hide and show the icons, the name and the rating. And you can also group the sources by platform. So a few options there. And then the header, you can toggle on and off. So that's just this section here where it prompts people to write a review. It shows the number of reviews, the ratings, and the title. So lots of things you can toggle on and off, super customizable. And then on the sidebar, click review, and you can also edit what is shown and hidden on the actual review itself. So you can hide the name of the person, a verified badge, their picture, the date, the actual rating, and the review source. So this is posted on Facebook. You can also say if it's going to show the short or full version of the testimonial. So you can see these have little read more links. So if I change this to full, obviously they get a lot longer. So lots of options there for the actual review. And then the fun part, the appearance. So this is gonna help us really make things custom to our site. Like I said before, the fonts will actually pull from your Squarespace fonts, which is really handy but you can actually adjust even more here in the Elf site app. So you can change it from dark mode to light. You can adjust the accent color. So you can see the color of the button up there just changed. Here is where you pull the fonts from your website, or you can choose something different if you want to. Then you can customize all of the separate elements. So tabs, you can do background, text color, icon color, text size, the corner radius, you can get very in depth into the appearance of all of these separate areas. So go in, have a play, decide what you want it to look like on your site. And you can even add custom CSS, which is really cool. And then the final tab here is settings. So you can actually change the language. I would leave this setting as it is. The enable external links and the open links in new tab. So this actually links away to the original review where it's from. So if I clicked on Gabriela Garcia's name here. It's going to open up the review on Facebook. So you can choose whether to have these on or not. If I toggle this off, that's not going to be clickable anymore. So there's pros and cons. Obviously, if it's clickable, it might be driving people away from your site. But also, if it is clickable, it is more legitimate because people can actually see that this is a real review on Facebook. So totally up to you. And then you can change the format of your ratings. So tons of fun settings in there. So easy to integrate into your Squarespace site. If you're on a plan that has a limited amount of views, I think all of the Elf site plans have a limited amount of views per plan. If you click on the applications link in the sidebar, 
you're going to see how many views you've got. So I've got some other apps here and also the all-in-one reviews, which is the one I just added. And you can see it's got zero views out of 200. And this is a really good way to keep up with how many views you're getting in case you need to upgrade your plan. And also Elfsight will send you an email if it's looking that you're getting close to the end of your views for your plan, which is really handy as well, because then you can just upgrade. Otherwise, they'll remove it from your site. So I did save some changes. I'm just going to refresh my page to see if those changes have reflected already. There you go, now everything's nice and purple. <laughs> and it's as easy as that. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. I hope you love this plugin as much as I do and you can get your reviews on your Squarespace site as easily as I just did. Now, before I close out this video, I should mention that there are two other ways you can add testimonials to your Squarespace site in Squarespace 7.0 and Squarespace 7.1. These are ways to manually add testimonials, so it's a little bit different from the technique we just talked about but make sure to check out those videos on the screen if you're considering all of the options for adding reviews to your Squarespace site. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want more tutorials on fun things you can do in Squarespace, check out our channel. We have tons of resources. If you subscribed, that would be awesome too and I will see you in the next video.